Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hofbergman Explain video. Today we're going to talk about the new greenhouses that have been added to the 1.5 update of Hofbergman for Farming Simulator 22. If this is your first video you've seen of our Hofbergman Explain series. I want to tell you that we do have a playlist that runs through all of the features that are available in Hofbergman, all the way up from 1.0 to 1.5. If you go and check that playlist in my playlist section, you'll be able to come up to speed on all of the cool features that are part of Hoff Bergman. But today, we're going to talk about the greenhouses that were added, as I said, in the 1.5 update. This map has four greenhouses. They're going to be located here just north of our cherry orchard. We're going to find them located here between fields 36 and 35 at farmland ID 90. So this area can be bought for $295,392. Once you buy this facility, you'll be able to enter it. And we have one, two, three, and four greenhouses. Each of these greenhouses are going to require the use of compost and manure, as well as water. And you're going to be able to produce tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, cucumbers, cauliflowers, carrots, and mushrooms. In addition to that, we have a nice shed here to store our machinery. There is a water basin to store and collect water. Now this water basin will start empty if you load up the game for the very first time. And if it rains, well, the water will be collected in here or you can unload water into the water basin for storage. I want to demonstrate that here. We are unloading water. We have a really cool animation of the water basically going into this receiving area and then flowing into the basin. Or we can draw water out. We're using a trailer here that does not have the hose system, but if you wanted to, you could draw water out of here with a trailer with the hose system. Now, while I demonstrated using the LSFM universal tanker for the water basin, simply unloading and loading water from the basin, this trailer is the one you're gonna to need to use to water your greenhouses. This is a modded ABI Attachments 550 trailer. We're gonna find that under mods and DLCs under the miniature agricultural equipment pack. You're gonna be able to buy that for $3,000. And we're gonna to want to configure it as an irrigation sprayer. This facility also has two kind of storage bunkers here for the purpose of storing your manure and or your compost. You will need to use both. But with respect to compost, you'll see that we have the ability of producing compost. That'll be covered in another Hofbergman Explained video or buying compost in the form of pallets. We're gonna bring our small Landini in here and we are gonna dump our manure. We're gonna need 1,000 liters of manure. Let me go and grab another scoop real fast and I'll be back, back. Now, in addition to the manure, as I mentioned, you do need compost. I have some loose compost here. And while we did not get the fill plane to show up when we added the manure, we do have it pop up when we add our compost. We will be using more compost than manure. So I also want to demonstrate the use of these pallet bags. And these pallet bags can be bought at the shop. And we're going to find those under objects, consumer goods. And here we have a pallet 3,360 liters of compost for $230. 
We also have the ability to make pallets of compost. That will also be covered in the composting video, which will be coming up in the channel very, very soon. You see we are adding our compost. Slowly the fill plane is coming up. And as I mentioned earlier, I do want to then run through here with the sprayer. You see the nice animations. We do have a change in texture on the soil. So it now looks wet. We can come inside here and then move here to the right and then interact by hitting R. And at this point, we can activate our production. But you'll also see that we output organic waste, and that is currently full. So we're not going to be able to do any more cauliflower production until we empty out some of our organic waste. So organic waste is handy because it is going to be a vital input to continue our compost production. So there are bins beside each greenhouse where we're going to be able to draw out our organic waste. And we can either do that with a small trailer or like in this case, a bucket. And once we have active production in our greenhouse, we're going to know because we have a greenhouse worker that is going to come and work the two beds of compost, manure, and water. We also have the ability to come over here and left click to turn the ventilation on and off. And we also have a light switch to turn on and off the lights. Now, the last thing that we have here at our greenhouse facility is we have cold storage. So we're going to be able to bring pallets of our product and place it into cold storage. And that building is right here. So we just need to position the pallet at the plastic curtain there, and it goes into storage. On the right, we're going to have our icon to activate our storage, and we can we can then spawn out various pallets of product, or we can turn on and off the ventilation. Turn off the light. And over here we have where our pallet then was output from its storage. I've already prepared a trailer load of vegetables. Let's go ahead and sell them here at our supermarket. We will have to back this into the dock a little bit in order to get those to sell. And we'll take a little bit of time to sell down all of those totes. So guys, that's it. That is basically how you make use of the greenhouses that have been added to Hoff Bergman 1.5. Love to know your all's thoughts down in the comments below with respect to the use of the greenhouses, the interactivity of adding both the manure and the compost, as well as using the small water trailer to then spray water onto those. If you haven't seen the video related to our food truck here, Maybe go ahead and check that out as well. We'll put a tick mark up in the upper right corner, as well as a link down in the description below. And until next time, happy farming.